What is up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Welcome back to another video. As you guys can see from the title description, we got a new stereo for my car. I ain't gonna lie, this box feels kind of light. Uh, I haven't opened it yet, so let's get right to the video and let's unbox this real quick. Also, do me a favor. If you guys aren't subscribed, go ahead and go down below and hit that subscribe button. Bro, this is like hella light. It's like... I'd expect it to be heavier, but hopefully I didn't get some that. You know, knock on wood. All right, so here we go. So here we got all the all the wires and stuff, all the connections. Put that to the side. Bam, here we go, here it is. Sheesh. All right, so here we have it. It's a nine inch uh, Android stereo. Um, it says that it has navigation and it's for 2004 to 2008 uh, accurate TSX. And it also has CarPlay, so uh, yeah, as you can see, all the buttons are down here. Yeah, it look, looks nice, I like the black. Very nice, simple setup, really light. Honestly, I didn't even think it was in the box. But here we go, let me take a video of it. Let me set it down so you guys can see. All right, and I'm not here to waste your time, so enough talking, let's just get right to the install. All right, so here we have the TSX-8. I'm gonna try and move it over here to the shade little box right here so I can at least be cool it's gonna be like 100 degrees today so I ain't trying to die and it's probably like 105 inside my car so yeah let's move over here to the shade real quick all right so here we are in my car and as you can see here's the stock radio pretty ugly to be honest um, I don't even have navigation or anything so I'm glad I'm getting this upgrade but when I turn on my headlights uh, these little buttons should light up so you can see at night and my little module that controls that actually went out so to fix that you either have to replace the module which I heard is pretty expensive to do um, or you just have to replace the whole stereo unit I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery just don't want to have any problems with fuses burning up or shit like that and hopefully this bitch doesn't get hot because we'll be dying Roll down the windows a little bit. Sheesh, I can feel it. It's really hot. Alright, so let me just go ahead, disconnect the battery, turn off the car. I mean, a car too. All right, so after you remove those trim pieces, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these two little screws on the side. Uh, mine's missing on this side, so I ain't gotta worry about that. All right, now you wanna pull this out. Pop this up right here. A little uh, hazard button. Pop it off. Oh, I almost forgot there's also a screw back here. Alright, so after that's out, you can just... I think... Go ahead and pull it out. Oh, yep, there you go. Alright, so this is behind the stereo. Disconnect this one right here. And this one back here. And this little one on this side, or not that little. Just like that. And then you want to disconnect the ones down here, which is your antenna. Come on, bitch. All 
All right, here we have the old unit out. All right, and before you install your new one, you wanna make sure you take off the air vents, and it's just a couple of screws holding it in from the back. All right, so after you remove the screws, you can just go ahead and pull this off. I broke it. What? I broke it. Example, you know, you don't want to lift it from here. You want to lift it from the bottom. <laughs> Whatever. I don't even care. Hey, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button right there. Little life boys with the Z. All right, so now you want to go ahead and grab your new head unit and install the air vents. All right, there you go. Connected. All right, turn on the clutch, turn on. <laughs> All right, so basically, since the stereo didn't come with any instructions or anything, uh, sorry for the background noise. You know, I got a little fan running. It's fucking hot. But anyways, um, so but these are the cables that I think that you're gonna have to use. I don't think you're gonna use all these connectors. So you're gonna use this one right here, this big fat one, which will connect to this one right here. And then this little one, I don't think you're gonna use at all. You're gonna use this one, that's gonna connect to this one back here. And then that's the top ones. And then for the bottom, you're gonna use your antenna, obviously. Uh, this blue connector, this blue one right here, which will connect to this one right here, if I'm correct. Or actually, I'm wrong. This top one is gonna connect to this bottom one, and this blue one right here, right there, is gonna connect to this blue one over here. This little one, uh, you're not gonna use. And then this other one right here, you're also not gonna use. I'm gonna just go ahead and connect it. Not 100% sure if it's gonna work, but I'll let you guys know once I connect everything. All right, so let me show you guys real quick one more time before I put everything back together. And also, if you guys watched this video and it was helpful to you guys, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm over here fucking dying in 100 degree weather. Not 100, probably like 90 right now, but still pretty fucking hot. Um, let's get these out the way. These are probably like for subs and stuff and like backup camera and all that. This one out the way. From the top wires coming from the unit, as you can see. Only this little one is the one that I didn't connect. Green one that comes from the big unit connects to this one. And then this one connects to over here, which is basically uh, your AC and stuff like that. Um, this blue one just connects to this blue one right here. Or these two I didn't connect. There's nowhere to connect them. And then obviously you want to connect your antenna, and then don't forget about your um, your uh, what is it called? Your your GPS. That's basically it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the battery and see if it starts up. Let me just mock it into place, and I'll be back with you guys in a sec. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got power. Let's turn the car on. Oh, that is fucking dope. It tells you what door is open. Yo, what the fuck? No, that's dope. So I guess you have to use your USB to connect. So I'm gonna have to go back and connect the USB run one to the glove box just so I can have it and then the other one I'll just keep it in my trunk. All right, so we are back. Got the USB connected. Um, so let me go ahead, start up the car. And then car link is connecting. And then use CarPlay. So now it's connected. Oh nice, so we got all our music in here now. Uh, library, like songs. All right, so what can I say? I'm a fucking genius. I got it to work. Honestly, it looks amazing. 
Okay, so you guys let me know if you guys think this unit is worth $568. If you guys want me to do any videos related to this unit, let me know. Smash that like button, let me know down below, comment down below. I'm gonna go ahead and put this all back together and I will show you guys how it looks once everything's back in place. Yeah, that's basically it, just a little installation. All right, also, if you're new to this channel and this is your first time watching this video, go ahead and subscribe down below, go watch my old videos. I know I don't post much, but just give me some time, guys. I'm, I work, I work, I buy everything. I'm literally, it's, I'm not sponsored at all, nothing. Um, literally straight out of the mud, guys. Like, look, I don't have my own garage. I literally do this outside. Everything that I do to my car, I literally do it outside in the sun, in the rain. However the weather's outside, that's where I'll be working. We're in the ghetto, come on man, get my boy out the ghetto, man. All you gotta do is fucking hit that like button, share with your homies, let your friends know about me. Low life boys with the Z, you guys already know. Till next time guys, stay safe out there, wear a mask, peace out.